Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved coming at you from the island. Thank you so much as always for all of the love and support lately, my friends. I very much do appreciate it. Of course, if you want to continue supporting this series, the best and easiest way to do so is simply to drop a like. But of course, if you want to go on further, use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get 5% off any of my Apex gaming PCs. Now then, today, my friends, we are going to be taming a couple of decent resource dinos, okay? And... The dinos we're going for are the Triceratops, so we can get a good amount of berries, and therefore narco berries for narcotics, and also the Beelze Buffo, aka the Arc Frog. Because those guys are fantastic at getting a large amount of cementing paste simply by killing buggies all over the place, right? So, yeah, it's going to be a taming episode today, and I hope that you guys are excited for it. So, without further ado, we're pretty much going to get straight on with it. But before we do that, I figured what we could do to start off here is actually make the slightly upgraded long neck rifle that we got as a blueprint in the last episode. This one doing 139% damage, which of course means it's going to be slightly more effective at taming than the regular long neck rifle. Now, as you can see, it does require 261 metal ingots, but the good news is we've got all that going. So, let's get this long neck rifle created and we're gonna do this thing. There we have it. 68 hide, 261 metal, 55 wood. It's gonna allow ourselves to make ourselves the ramshackle long neck rifle. Oh, snappity snap snappers. Very, very cool. I think I think we may need some more tranquilizer darts before we head out as well. So I may need to use Max the Moss Chops here to grab ourselves a whole bunch of berries. And this is like one of the main reasons I want to be going ahead and getting a Triceratops. To be able to get ourselves a ton of berries per harvest. Believe it or not, the Triceratops is one of the best creatures to get yourself a ton of berries. So yeah, it's all good, baby. Several hundred narco berries have been collected and we can make ourselves 98 narcotics. And in terms of the gunpowder required to make ourselves the simple rifle ammo, uh, yeah, we have rather a lot of charcoal going on here, guys. <laughs> Hey guys, check it out. Over 700 gunpowder being crafted up. Wow! That's a lot of gunpowder, guys! <laughs> wow, okay, right. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and get ourselves a bunch of uh, cementing paste while we're doing this whole shaboodle. I mean, since we're crafting up a ton of stuff anyway, why not? Alrighty, tranquilizer darts are being created. And then we're pretty much just going to get on with this thing, my friends. We're going to start off with the trike because it is probably going to be the easier tame of the two. Because, you know, they're pretty darn slow. And as a result, they're pretty darn easy to evade and tame. So, uh, yeah. Should be pretty darn easy. I certainly hope so, anyway. You watch, there's gonna be some massive stealth buff made to the trikes. And then, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna get killed, huh? <laughs> That's what I feel like happens, but uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I think what we'll do is we'll take Adam with us, and then if the dangers are great, then uh, yeah, we could just fly away, you know? We're looking for one ideally with a high level, because the higher level it has, the higher amount of default carry weight it also has. Also, there's an Alpha Raptor. Um... Hello, how you doing? How you doing? 100 damage versus 38. You're an embarrassment. Just go. Just, 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 just keel over and die. Yep. That got him. All right. Well, that was pretty easy. Let's go find ourselves a high level trike. That will probably legitimately be more difficult. <laughs> Hello. Level 125. Very nice. That means with taming effect of this, it should be, what, level 180 plus? That's kind of decent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's whip this bar boy out and let's get the show on the road. Okay, as far as I can remember, you do not hit these guys in the head because, uh, yeah. Okay, now it turns out these guys are a little bit quicker than I first thought. Uh, yeah. All right, let's put you up there and let's see if I can't do some damage. Okay, no, he's doing damage to me. Oh, goodness. She whiz. Okay. Uh, Adam. You need to come over here, son. <laughs> oh, God, he's doing his... Ah! No, no, no. Come on, Adam. Come on, Adam. You need to be a little bit quicker there. There we are. All right. Uh, I don't remember trikes being that quick. Oh! Running away, are we, madam? Ha! 
Ah, I missed it. Darn it. I can't miss with this thing, man. Oh, look at that. I don't even think I can pick it back up. Oh, that actually sucks. All right. Hiya! There we are. Oh, yeah. You feeling a little bit woozy there? Yeah, you are. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't take long. All right, well, with that done and dusted, we can simply give her uh, some media berries, and that will, in fact, do the job. So uh, all we got to do is wait. And then we've got one of the best berry harvesting dinos in the entire game. And yet, like I said, level 180 plus as well. Level 187 to be exact. Hey, not bad. I think honestly, the more difficult thing we're going to be doing in today's episode is trying to tell me BLZ Buffer. Those guys usually reside in the swamps. And swamps are rather overridden with danger. Like you can get sarcos, you can get blood sucking leeches. The It's... It's just a bit of a horrid area, really. So, uh, yeah. It's going to be a tall task, but we're going to try it because for us to be able to get ourselves a bunch of cementing paste is probably the last piece of the puzzle. Getting ourselves crystal is pretty easy. Getting ourselves metal ingots is pretty easy now. It's just the cementing paste. We get all that done and we can finally go for our goal of making a greenhouse. Something I've never done in this game before, guys. So, uh, yeah. Could be pretty interesting, huh? For us to finally get that done. Sorry there, must chops. I gotta get some hide so I can make a trike saddle. There we have it. Oh yeah, moss chops are brill for that. All right, so uh, now we should be able to make ourselves a trike saddle. One of the simpler saddles to make, thankfully. Fiber, hide, and wood. And that's it, actually. Not too much else needed. There you go, my friends. There you go. Trixie the trike. And she has got 562 carry weight, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. So, I think what we'll do just for now, right, is we'll put her inside a cryopod. And then we will uncryopod her back at base after we've gone ahead and tamed ourselves a BLZ buffer, okay? So, uh, yep. Get yourself in the Pokeball. There we have it. And, uh, yeah, guys, I mean, we're pretty much just going to get straight on with this thing. Where does one make a BLZ buffer saddle? Oh, okay, you don't even need a smithy for it. We just need a little bit of cementing paste. Okay, well, back to base we go. We'll get that done, and then uh, it's time to go tame a frog. BLZ buffer saddle, there we are. Only five cementing paste required for it, which is pretty awesome. But in other news, check it out, my friends. I now have 400-plus cementing paste. As far as I can remember... 600 were needed for the industrial forge. Let me just confirm that to myself. Uh, yeah, 600. Wow, okay. So we're pretty close to uh, that goal being done. Definitely got the crystals. Definitely got the oil. Can definitely get easy polymer. It's pretty much just the metal at this point. So then, no time to lose. Let's go find ourselves the Arc Frog, the BLZ Buffo. Come on, baby. We need a high level one, ideally. Again, mostly for its carry weight, so it can carry as much cementing paste as we possibly can. So yeah, let's hope that we get lucky, eh? Hey, guys, check it out. A beaver dam. Wait, no, there's two beaver dams. Oh, hell yeah. You know what these things are good for? Pearls and cementing paste, funnily enough. The only thing is, you need to be prepared for the consequences, all right? Uh, there's going to be castoroids around here, a.k.a. the beavers. So we got to be real quick about this, all right? Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just do it. Oh, 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 you get a little bit, you get a little bit annoyed with me, are we, sir? Oh, oh, there you are. Lol. What's going on? Oh, that guy literally just appeared out of nowhere. I saw his shadow before I saw him. How does that work, eh? Oh, there's three of them? What? I mean, the reason why you would tame a Castoroid is because they're among the best creatures in the game to get yourself a bunch of wood. Um, If there was a level 100 plus there, I might go for it. So we've got a level 20, we've got a level 50, and a level 45. Okay, so th they're all a little bit poopy, if I'm honest. Before heading off, though, what we do need to do, okay, is we need to go ahead and actually, you know, sort of break these things, and we just need to sort of get rid of the stuffs there. Uh, that should allow future beaver dams to spawn on in, and we can get more resources from them, you know? Oh, you get pelt from these guys as well! Nice! Definitely needing the pelt, my friends. Definitely needing the pelt. For us to get fair armor means that we will be able to explore the snow biome way easier. So, yeah, 
It's pretty cool. Anyways, back to the froggies. There's a spino over there. It's been a while since I've tamed one of those guys. Level 115. Holy guacamole. I sure hope that gal doesn't die because I might actually want to tame her in the future. Spinos are a fantastic tame, especially in water, because they seem to get some incredible buffs while they're in water, especially movement speed, as far as I can remember. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, here we are at the Swamperu. Let's just see if we can find ourselves some froggies, huh? Small army of froggos over here, guys. Uh, there's one BLZ buffer. Like, literally, there's like five plus of them. Some of them are in the water, some of them are on the land around here, eh? Ah, oh, this is awesome, dude. All right, well, uh, can we get away with just sort of popping off our Argentavis here? Maybe we have you on follow, and, uh, yeah, we can have ourselves a bit of a roam around. Level five? That's the lowest level there is. Ah, darn it, I've been leeched. Ah, that's not cool. Can I, like, get rid of it somehow? I think I need to make a campfire, and then we can get rid of it. As far as I can remember. All right, uh, campfire. Let's see what we need. Flintstone thatch wood. Let's do it. Oh! Like that is it? Oh my god, there's so many leeches. Yeah! No! Oh! Oh god, I'm like multi-leeched. No, not cool. Boom, do that. Uh, boom, do that. And then, uh, I'm pretty sure we just stand on top of the fire and the leeches will just sort of go away. Yeah, there we have it. Oh, goodness, sweet lord. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, maybe we shouldn't stay around there. But, uh, yeah, that's how you get rid of leeches. And it turns out I've actually got a leech on my Argentavis here. And I'm pretty sure all you got to do is walk up to them and hold to remove leech. And then uh, we should be golden. There we are. Right. Why am I still poisoned or whatever that skull and crossbones thing is? I mean, if it's a skull and crossbones, it's never good. But I don't know what exactly it means. Have I got, like, rabies or something? Or some disease? Yo, dudes, look at this. A level 135 BLZ buffo. All right, let's, uh, oh, shoot it. And then uh, maybe I can immobilize it with a bola. I figured it's small enough. Hiya! Yeah, all right. Now we do what we need to do. I have been poisoned. Oh my goodness, the debuffs are just stacking up at this point, my friends. <laughs> Not something we want to be going through right now. I don't even know what the red skull and crossbones means. And it doesn't seem to be wearing off. It has been quite a while at this point since I've contracted whatever the heck that is. And it's just not gone away. Oh, it's out. Huh. That was it. All right, well, uh, let's uh, grab some meatsy doodles. I'm pretty sure those guys are carnivores, right? And then we should be good. In fact, let's give you a bit of prime meat. There you go. I'm hoping that'll do the job. Let's just see if we can, uh, you know, defend this guy with our lives. I was pretty lucky that it spawned just on the outskirts there, and it just sort of roamed around on this uh, little island bit here. So that definitely made things way the heck easier, my friends. So I'm pretty happy about that. So, yeah. Still got to be careful, though. There could be any number of hostile mobs around here. Oh! It did only take one. What the hell is this guy? Get out of here. It's a uh, dip Diplocolus? What the hell? I've never heard of that before. Uh, right, anyways, guys, we have our goal done. Uh, let's pop into this guy's inventory and put on a saddle. And, well, I don't know about you guys, but these are one of my favorite teams for getting around because of just how far, high, and, well, far they can jump. Like, look at this crap, man. And not only that, but they can swim incredibly fast in the water. So, um, yeah. It really does rather make a lot of things way more simple. You know what? I'm actually more tempted to put the Argentavis in the uh, cryopod and then we ride this guy back. I mean, I love PLZ buffos. I truly do. So, yeah. You know what? That's what we're going to do. Because at that point, we'd be able to go ahead and inadvertently hunt bugs on our way back. So... I mean, why wouldn't I, man? It just seems like a good idea, doesn't it? Uh, we've got chitin, hide, and well, not a great deal of anything else. So we'll pretty much just uh, scrap all of that. Uh, but yeah, here we are. We have our BLZ buffer. Oh, wow, that weight, though. I keep forgetting. <laughs> it's got only 252 carry weight. That's not a lot. We're going to need to get rid of a whole bunch of surplus crap. Uh, mostly the stone and wood. That's done the job, mostly. Hello! Oh, sweet lord! Guys, there was a bunch of buggies around, but uh, there's also a uh, baryonyx around. A hostile baryonyx! Oh my god, I keep forgetting just how quick those guys are. <laughs> 
Yeah, I gotta be careful, my friends. Still gotta be careful. <laughs> ah, sweet. More buggies. Come on. I must kill all the bugs. Give me. Give me. Give me all the little cementing paste. Ah, no. No, snakey. No. Don't want those snakes. Oh, my God. 7,000 buggies. Yeah. Come on. Get some. Oh, I inadvertently killed a snake. Hell yeah. Look at that. Over 300 cementing paste now, guys. <laughs> Again. This is why you tame a Beelze Buffo froggy dude. And would you look at that? We've got six levels up. So pretty much, I think we're going to go, yeah, a little bit of that. And then maybe a bit of melee damage as well. Probably a good way to go, right? Uh, let's make sure we've always got a little bit of meat on us. I don't mind having chitin on us. And I certainly don't mind having the cementing paste on us. Hell yeah. Oh my goodness me. Small scale war going on. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. I, I don't want my froggy to die. I've only just got him, for God's sake. <laughs> and what do you know, my friends? Just like that, we are back at base. And there we have it. We have our BLZ buffer. We haven't even given this guy a name yet. So uh, give me a sec. I'll think of something. <laughs> hey, guys, how about it? Nice and simple. Bob. Bob the BLZ buffo. Um, Sure. Oh, it's so dumb. Anyways, we have got our goals for today done. And real quick, just to finish off, we're going to uh, do a little bit of harvesting here, just so we can see just how many berries we actually get. Uh, 59 narco berries? I mean, still pretty decent. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme all those berries. 232? Sure. I will take it. I will absolutely take it. I ain't gonna complain about none of that. <laughs> yeah! We're absolutely dominating this game in terms of a berry supply now, my friends. Absolutely oh, wonderful. So, yep, yeah, there we have it. And we also have a rather brilliant supply of cementing paste as well. Look at that, over 700 dudes, and that's just on the journey back from where we tamed him alone. So to finish off for today, my friends, we do of course have the comment of the day, but I actually realized I didn't do the comment of the day in the last episode, and that really was because I just didn't have the time to do it. So, episode 14, the last one, Yamin Kalaf says, Python, you can use a moss chops and upgrade its harvesting for polymer to get a ton of polymer when harvesting a penguin with the moss chops. Yes, I think that's a fantastic idea. Maybe what we do is we try to tame ourselves another Moss Chops. Maybe the next episode is a little bit of a side goal or something like that. And we simply only buff its polymer harvesting rate. I think that's a fantastic idea. So thank you so much for that, Yamin. And uh, finally, for this episode, we have Mark who says, Ringed loot beams only means double the amount of loot, not a higher level of loot. I liked this loot every loot beam episode. Hey, thank you so much for the kind words there, buddy. And uh, thank you so much for the info as well. I honestly genuinely thought that you might have had a higher chance of getting better stuff out of ringed loot beam, but um, yeah. I mean, as we kind of saw in the last episode, that didn't really seem to be the case, did it? So, uh, yeah, double the amount of loot. That does make more sense. It does mean that they're still worth going for, for the simple fact that there's more loot, but they might not necessarily be, like, top-tier loot. You just never know, right? So, yeah. Anyways, guys, that will just about wrap it up for today's episode. Two new teams added to our repertoire, the Trike and the BLZ Buffo, both of which are very high level, and I'm very happy about that. So, yeah, goal complete. Let's wrap it up for the episode. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, and, of course, you're excited to see more, do be sure, of course, to drop a like. I would very much appreciate it, my friends. It helps get the video out there, and it helps out the channel, myself, and the video massively. Of course, if you want are new around here, do consider subscribing so you don't miss out on my future content. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for all of your wonderful support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.